This is the world as we know it. We see people, places, things happening all around us. We live in a three-dimensional world where we see many things. We can move objects and travel from place to place. For centuries, we learned that space can be measured using length, width, and height. But what if there's another dimension? An extra dimension. 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 I'm Arle Petters. I teach math and physics here at Duke University. What if science could find evidence for extra dimensions? What would that mean? Much like the early explorers who thought the world was flat, we too could be living in a perceived reality limited by three dimensions, a reality far more complex than we're led to believe. This isn't new. Man has thought about extra dimensions for centuries. You have seen it in art, architecture, and even religion. From this painting of Dali's crucifixion to the structure in modern-day France, and even today, Hollywood uses the concept of an extra dimension to bring sensational stories to the big screen. Movies like that make our world seem boring because we are confined to a three-dimensional box, length, width, and height, our space, our perceived reality. And what do you think our perceived reality is? We wake up every day in this world. What do you think all that is? It's <laughs> a hard question. <laughs> I guess it's just uh, perceptions based on cultural yes. backgrounds, based yes. on different experiences. Reality. Yeah, it's yeah. a big question, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Reality to me is in my day-to-day -day life. It's the life we live. We know we have length, width, and height. Mm -hmm. Do you think there could be an extra dimension? Do you think there could be an extra dimension? It's possible, I think. I think there's sort of um, a realm that we can't exactly see, but that does exist around us. Yes. I think it just adds another layer of complexity to the bad. already complex world we live in. Like, if you're gonna sit down and start thinking about fourth dimensions and what's on that end, like, how's all your work gonna get done? <laughs> My job as a mathematical physicist is to theorize about the fourth dimension. It is then the tasks of experimentalists to verify these theories. So how then do we know that there is a fourth dimension? I am proposing that we find a messenger from there and fingerprint that messenger. So what is it? We call them brain world black holes. And I don't mean our brain, I mean B-R-A-N-E as in membrane. These black holes create a wiggle in gamma ray radiation. NASA is launching a satellite this summer that will be capable of measuring that wiggle. If the wiggle is found, we would have evidence supporting the idea of an extra dimension. Dimensions, what are they? Let's chat about this with Professor Hugh Bray. He's a leading differential geometer here at Duke. In fact, his office is right on the other side of this wall. Oh, Arlie, didn't hear you come in. Hugh, I'm glad you're here. How do you explain the idea of dimensions to your students? Well, Arlie, what I like to do is to give examples of various dimensional objects. So, for example, we could start with a one-dimensional line segment, which has a certain width. And then if we add height to that, then we get a two-dimensional square. And then given this two-dimensional square, we can expand it and give it depth. And now it's a three-dimensional object with height, width, and depth. And I could take this object and expand it that way and get a four-dimensional cube. In fact, we could repeat this process in dimensions five, six, seven. Mathematically, the possibilities are infinite. Infinite possibilities, I like that. An extra dimension may seem more like science fiction than science fact, doesn't it? As we develop better tools like the gamma ray satellite, we shall increase our chances of being able to detect an extra dimension. Think about it. If we could harness the powers of an extra dimension, it would be wondrous. Or will we be opening Pandora's box? I am Arlie Petters.